most decadent slut since the fall of Rome. <laughs> now, that's, uh, that's a quote from a video I posted long ago, which has really been making the rounds amongst the, the anti-Gamergate people, who apparently prove I'm misogynist or something like that, and, no, which I find absolutely hilarious. Now, I, on the one hand, the quote's taken out of context. You know, it, it was done in a video, obvious context to it. Um, and it was, quite frankly, that video was, uh, it was, it was recorded from a point of frustration. You know, one thing that I've been consistent with in my, my writing, my videos, uh, heck, the short film I just did, Less Than the Time of Heartache, it's all about this, is how I, I really think that love is so important, and it's not something you just, you play lightly with. You know, this is this is nuclear material, all right? A broken heart is a tragic thing, and I really feel like uh, we're, we take sex so casually, and we try and we try and separate sex and love from one another. But when you do that, you don't just get fun times at the orgy house. What you get is a lot of sadism and cruelty and nastiness between people. You know. I, I, I think sex is sacred, and, uh, and love is sacred, and, you know, these are things that we really undervalue nowadays when society where everybody's for sale. But, you know, it's, uh, forget the context, forget the context of the quote, because, I mean, none, none of these uh, social justice people, n none of them are protesting the quote in context. None of them are acknowledging the context. It's the quote itself which seems to offend them so much that present-day women in North America, you know, the, the majority of them, are the most decadent sluts since the fall of Rome. And I'm, I'm just left baffled with this. Do they, do they have a factual disagreement with this? I mean, I mean, okay, maybe it's a little bit of an exaggeration. Certainly those, um, those Victorians got up to quite a bit of naughtiness, I'll, I'll grant. But... I think I think the present day uh, orgy porny society is grounds for the most decadent civilization since the fall of Rome. I, I think that's well, grounds. Uh, maybe maybe not as decadent as the Etruscans. You know, uh, I mean, those guys used to carve BDSM scenes onto their religious monuments before they were destroyed by uh, young and vital Rome before it fell to decadence. But yeah, I, th I think it's a fairly arguable stance. And none of them are presenting arguments that, in fact, we're far more sexually conservative than the ancient Romans were. So, so that can't be it. So what, what is it then? Maybe, maybe they don't like me using the word slut as if it's a bad thing. Except, um, isn't it? Now, here's the thing about women who sleep around. Uh... First of all, they are very prone to venereal diseases. You know, sex is a great way to spread disease throughout civilization. And with uh, Barack Ebola as president, I think we should all be worried about that. Um, second of all, being a slut will result in a lot of bastard children. Even if you use birth control, which, you know, many of them don't, uh, even if you use birth control, there's going to be slip-ups. There's going to be bastards. They're going to be unwanted children. And quite frankly, the reason bastard means bad man or evil man is because when you bring a child into this world that isn't wanted, they tend to have a lot of resentment as they grow up. They tend not to know where they fit into society. They tend to be angry at it. They don't have a father figure to induct them into true masculinity, into manhood. Instead, they're, they're stuck at this rebellious teenage stage where, yeah, you know, look at the stats. Single motherhood is uh, one of the prime predictors of criminality later in life. You know, then there's the issue that when women start going willy-nilly with their sexuality, they don't, they don't tend to pursue the engineers and computer programmers that, that build civilization. You know, it's a stereotype, but it's a true stereotype. They go after Harley McBad Boy. And so the, the worst of our society, the men that are contributing the least to building civilization, get all the female attention. 
And so the men who are contributing start to drop out. They start to lose their incentives for building civilization. And your, your country, your nation becomes prey to outside influences, even if it's just economic influences. You know, not just prey to German barbarians at the gate, but also the economy stops, starts failing when there's no point in getting a really good job that's really productive. Get a part-time job, play video games and download porn. You know, that there's no future for a civilization in that. And, and let's not forget the, the harm that sluts do to other women. Because here's the thing, if, uh, if you're a lady that does want to find a, a husband, you know, you want to actually love somebody and build a life together and accomplish something and have grandkids and family dinners and all that great stuff. If you're a young lady who's looking for a man like that, all the men you approach are going to be whisked away by the women offering up free and easy sex. You know, uh, the, the women offering all of this free sex devalue the price of sex. And so women that are trying to find a stable relationship wind up getting caught up. They, like, they basically have to put sex on the table to attract a man. Or they have to really demonstrate something. It becomes very, very difficult for your average person to find a good relationship. It, it becomes a race to the bottom where everything's about sex, everything is just about looks, about being a cool guy, and it's not about building civilization or actually loving one another. So, yeah, I would say that sluts are pretty detrimental to society. And, of course, let's not forget, you know, the men and women of every era deserve one another. It's just that the, the women are the gatekeepers to sex. You know, if you look at the past 50 years of feminism, uh, they're really the ones that reneged on the deal. And so now men are left adrift. Men are angry. Men are saying, like, listen, I want to be a good guy. You women aren't giving me an option. You know, men are the gatekeepers of commitment. Women are the gatekeepers of sex. And so if we are going to build a good civilization, we need women to start being a bit more responsible about it, and we need guys to be willing to trust women again. But again, what is Women were the ones that reneged on that uh, deal, so it's very hard for guys to trust. So I, I really don't think that statement, the most decadent slut since Rome, I don't think it's a very controversial statement factually. So why is it that, that these, these, these vermin, these orcs, these, uh, why is it that these creatures get so upset by that statement that they, they feel the need to tweet it constantly? And what it boils down, what it boils down to is rabbit psychology. So you've got to remember, these are rabbit people. You know, they, they, they think in black and white. Either you are part of the herd, and you're protected in the herd from those nasty predators, or you're kicked out of the herd, and you get preyed upon. Black and white. You're cool, or you're not cool. You're, you're part of the flock or you don't fit in, and you're dead. They, they don't have subtle gradations of thought. They, they, they can't understand that having an impossible ideal to reach towards, you know? Uh, having an ideal state does not mean that, like, that you're there. You know, like, nobody's perfect, but we're all striving to be better. There's gradations. They don't think that way. If you talk about something that is an ideal, a moral ideal, an ethical ideal, they either view it as, I am that thing or I'm not that thing, as opposed to, I'm an imperfect human being, but I'm getting better. It's black or white thinking with them. So what they seek to do is to redefine the boundaries of what virtue is. To say that virtue is some noble goal that none of us can reach, but we can all strive for, that doesn't work for the rabbit mind. You know, that's, that's wolf thinking. That's uh, civilized human thinking. Well, th th these primitive troglodytes are just, they're crawling over one another like crabs in a bucket. So they want to drag everything down to where they fit in. So the idea that a woman should show sexual morality, some, some chastity, she should be selective about who her partners are, 
You know, uh, your average woman would say, well, you know what, I've made some mistakes in the past. I've dated a couple of guys I shouldn't have dated. I'm going to do better in the future. A rabbit person says, are you calling me a whore? See, the rabbit person knows inherently that they are so worthless to society. That they, have, they have no skills that are actually productive. You know, they can't build anything. They can just write critical, uh, critical articles on Gamma Sutra. They can't build anything useful. Uh, the, the men are, are, are weak sissies. They, they can't protect themselves, let alone protect their family. Uh, the, the women have absolutely no self-control and would make terrible wives and mothers. And it, it's, it's just this, this group of broken people that can only defend themselves by being part of a mob. So it's black and white. You're in the mob, you're out of the mob. And so if you dare criticize sluts, they view that as a personal attack because the moment they're left alone in the wilderness, they die. As opposed to, you know, a healthy human being with a well-developed sense of self who's accomplished a few things, who's made mistakes, who's, you know, won some, they've lost some, they've always grown. That person's not afraid of surviving in the woods, but the rabbits certainly are. Reenie out, folks.